All right, the light switch right here. It's a little more difficult because you got um you got to unplug this right here, but then you also got to unplug these two. So these two got to be unplugged, and you also have a light right here that goes right there. And that you just literally unscrew it out. But those have to be taken apart for you to um to get that light switch out and then we just move up to the uh to the windshield washer and that's another uh two screws and unplug it all right now we got all those done so all three of those are out the trim is out so now we're gonna move to this bad boy right here and trust me somewhere in this video i'm gonna show you how to wire this up also so it's just going to be a little segment, some a, a couple of parts to it, but I will get to everything that you need to know. And this is just installing the dashboard, and then we got to do the same thing to the other car so that we can swap it out. But this is basically just how you take apart the dashboard. So we're going to hit those two screws up, and then I'll get back with you in one second. My bad. Four screws. Another screw down there, so you got one at the top. One at the bottom. You got one at the top and somewhere. Let me see if I can get the camera in there. Eh. And you got another one down there at the bottom. So you got to get all four of those before you can pull this out. So go on ahead and knock out those four screws. Now that we got those four screws out, you're going to find some play on here. So it's not going to come directly out because you still got some stuff plugged in and if you got small hands you could get back there but if not because we replace we're we're exchanging out the whole dashboard first thing you want to do is this cable right here and this is for the uh the shift let me see here where's the damn cable so this cable you want to follow this around and you want to take that off and it kind of just clips on there so you want to get that clip off, and that'll loosen it up some, and then we're going to drop the steering column, which is these four, these two screws right here, is, is two on this side, and then it's another two on this side. So you want to get those out. Once you get that out, the steering column is going to drop, and then it's going to be easier to get to this cluster and go ahead and, and unplug it. And because I haven't done it in so long, I just don't remember the position to unplug it, so it'll be safer to just drop drop down the uh, the steering column. So we're gonna go ahead and get some stuff and drop the steering column, and then we'll take that out. All right, once you get them screws out, you got two more to get. That is, if you can see it, this one right here, one on each side, and. Where is that there? There you go. You see that in there? And that's going to drop the whole column for you. And then from there, it's pretty much cake. And now we got the two screws out. So you can see that went on and gave you some play. But you want to go underneath. And this is your, uh, your air vent. One of your, your lines for your air vent. The little plastic tube right here. So once you release that, then the whole um, the whole column is going to drop for you to get get to that cluster. So go ahead and take that out, and it just kind of pull pulls to either or side, and that'll go ahead and slide right out, and then you're, you're free to access the uh, the cluster the cluster wires on the back, the harness. All right, now we got better access to this cluster. Go ahead and just pinch that screw right there. Pinch that lock. And now your cluster is out. So 
a dashboard dashboard is almost free and like i said it's not that hard man but here on toxic rides we not we not hiding no secrets on this stuff so when we figure out how to do stuff we're gonna post it and let you know